with myself That's the way I wanna be Laughing with myself That's the brightest side of me Hey everyone, welcome to Laughing With Myself. This episode is brought to you by HelloFresh. Yep, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50silly uh, and use code 50silly for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Yeah. Offer is for new subscriptions only and varies by plan across nine boxes. That's code 50silly at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals. Uh, yes, you've guessed it by all those S's in that ad. You can tell it's a retainer episode. <sighs> uh, well, October just really started with a... It's, it's, it's busy. And, uh, since October 1st, I've been on a roll, man. Uh, first I want to say thanks to Portland, everyone that came out to my shows at the Helium Comedy Club in Portland. Guys, I freaking sold out five shows. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Uh, they're my people. They like the weird. And, um, just art. I sold out on my art prints that I brought. I got a restock. It's wonderful. It's great. Um, tried new bits, and uh, the it, the weather is it was beautiful. Yeah, I went to the Japanese gardens. Brought my friend Nicole, Amy, my feature. Um, any other sights? How's about it? Uh, tomorrow morning, I fly out to Indianapolis. I know. It's a, it's kind of tough back to back weeks, but this is a this is a case, so plow through. Um man, it takes I swear, it it, it takes like nine uh, not nine. Three. How did how was nine why did I say nine? That's so far from three. It takes like three hours to pack my suitcase. Man. Damn. It's... It's nuts. Contacts. Tampons. Birth control. Uh... Antidepressants. Mmm. My workout gear. Okay. Uh, What am I gonna wear on stage? What are the jewelry accessories that are gonna match? Uh... The lipstick colors. I brought all kind of fall colors. So I had these cool brown, olive green, burgundy tie-dye pants by Tubular Tim Tie-Dyes in Colorado. He he makes them and he strips them to me. They're just so rad, especially on stage. They look really cool. And, uh, yeah. Um... I gotta clean my suitcase. I have one of those away luggages, the hard case. It's all scuffed up. Hmm, I guess it shows I've traveled, you know? I don't mind it. So, uh, yeah. Try and think of any updates. Oh, I squeezed in some fun the couple days I was home. In LA, I saw my favorite rapper, Little Sims, at the Novo Theater. She is the best. So talented. Guys, if you don't know Little Sims, you're, you're welcome. I've been a fan of hers for, I mean, I guess three years now. Three, four years now. Um, brought my friend Koji, who introduced me to her. Koji is a musician artist i met him on the van's warp tour in summer 2015 so it was really special yesterday i went to disneyland uh it was pretty damn fun um 
I tried the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. No, it took over Tower of Terror. Eh. Yeah, you heard it from Melissa. Eh. It. I really. I kind of miss the Tower of Terror. How everyone was in character, like the bellman that led us in the elevator. It was always spooky. Remember, they're like. I hope you come back. And then the elevator doors close. I kind of miss it. I had a pretzel. I had... Oh, man. All around Disneyland. Boy, was I happy. A lot of flaming Hot Cheetos. I've never seen that before. But I'm real glad about that. Back in the day, there used to be a... Right near Big Thunder Mountain... There used to be this uh, western, what is it? What's the thing in olden times, the horses? Carriage? Yeah, I guess it was like a wooden carriage. It was just McDonald's french fries in a cup. And they would just splatter ketchup in there. That's all it was, just McDonald's, Mickey D's french fries. And they got rid of it. Because everyone was like, we got to be healthy now. It's, like, it's Disneyland, buddy. But I am glad there was a little fruit stands and stuff. That Cars Land area, pretty cool in California Adventure. Uh, I remember it was almost like 6.40 p.m., 7 p.m. And there were all these people gathered around. And I'm like, what the heck are these nerds doing? But they were waiting for the sunset for the lights to turn on in Cars Land. And now... That was pretty cool. I didn't go on the Star Wars ride. It kept breaking down. Uh, got on uh, Big Thunder. Big Thunder is so good, huh? I went. I had a burger, fries. I mean, I picked out. I wore. I walked a lot. I think I got twenty thousand steps on my Fitbit. Yeah. Oh, I think I need to do my the ad in the middle. Okay, so hold tight. Hi, everyone. How does... Oh, with so many... <laughs> with so many in-season ingredients, you'll taste all the freshness of fall in every bite of HelloFresh's chef-crafted recipes. Produce... Produce travels from the farm to your door for peak ripeness you can taste. We all know HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mean... Meal time. But did you know it can also save you money? Cha-ching! HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout. That means less stress in your day and more money back in your pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. So go to HelloFresh.com. I've made HelloFresh meals, and this is why I like it. Because... I'm a loner, and it gives me the right amount of ingredients for one person. I'm not being wasteful, and I remember making the meal, and my kitchen smelled like there was a famous, uh, real good chef in there, because all the seasoning and smells, and it was perfect. Um, it was perfect. No, I mean, I was fine. It's 11, 12 p.m., so I'm starting to... This is the only time I could record. I have travel all day tomorrow, two shows tomorrow night, so had to get it out. Anyway, so go to HelloFresh.com um, slash 50silly and use code 50silly for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Offer is for new subscriptions only and varies by plan across nine boxes. That's code 50silly at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Cute. So, it's October. October's the best month. And I'm not just saying because it's my birthday. October 9th. Um, man, I attempted this one October on my art account on Melissa V. Art Instagram. Um... Inktober. 
Inktober is what a lot of artists do. They'll make the list of each day for October what we draw together. Uh, I made, I attempted the list last Sunday, October 1st, and I was just like, well, who am I kidding? I'm a busy gal, so I couldn't get to this. But I was thinking, how about a low pressure Inktober? How about I make you guys a couple options of Halloween things to draw? Just, you know, share with me, share them with me on my art account, Melissa V Art on Instagram, so I could see your artwork. But here are some ideas to draw for Inktober. Uh, ghost, a ghost with a boote. And the ghost is showing off its butt and it says boo. And the two uh, O's are the butt cheeks. And if you want to get creative, I, I was thinking of gluing some paper in between like a zigzag so you can push the butt cheeks up and down and have the ghost say, look, look at me, I'm twerking. Oh, well, this is an idea, a spider at a spa. Let it relax, they work hard, you know? Um, <laughs> a bat, that's a bro. A witch taking a selfie. See, these are all funny. They're not really, sp I don't want to do spooky spooky. Creepy candy, ooh. Finger french fries, classic. An emo eyeball, eyeball. That's my favorite. And I put that for my birthday to draw. An emo eyeball. Lazy leaves. A pumpkin spice lady hoe. I don't know what that means. I guess just a ho like a sexy, I don't know what, a hoe. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a zombie doing stand-up? That's funny. A villain playing a video game? Eh, all right. Uh, your pet in a costume, or any pet in a Halloween costume. Clown feeling down. All right. Frankenstein's dating profile. That could be fun. A sexy snake. A skeleton karaoke. Oh, I like this. A devil. The devil watching Devil Wears Prada. Um, a punk pumpkin. Cool. Instead of a wolf howling at the moon, it's farting at the moon. Uh, this, I don't know, and this is way too hard to draw. Maybe the people that want to challenge themselves. A haunted tiny house. <laughs> oh, that tiny house is haunted. Oh, it really? Yeah, it's so haunted. I mean, it's pretty easy to find the ghosts in there. <laughs> that would be really funny, huh? Uh, that show went to, what is it? Ghost Hunters? Uh, Dia de Muertos. Oh, I think this is sweet. Draw something that someone who has passed loved. Um, like for my Uncle Caesar, I could draw a Dodgers cap. He loved the Dodgers. Um, my Awalita also liked hats. That's funny, maybe I just draw a bunch of hats. Mm. My Mamita, what did she really love? I feel like she loved Little cappuccinos, uh, especially after dinner. My papa, he loved food. My papa loved food. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then the, oh, for October 31st. A Halloween party with some of the characters that you drew from the month. So I tried to make the list, couldn't make it happen. So I'll try tomorrow to upload the, these a couple options for you. And if you have time, great. If not, don't pressure yourself. I really gotta, I'm still, I'm still struggling with like my word, keeping my word, guys. Ugh. I agree to things, and then when it arrives, I'm like, why did I do this? 
I have to we I have to really gotta make sure I keep in some rest throughout the week. It's, oh man. It's a lot. It's a lot to be a smiley person, you know. But I have to. I must. This might work. Now let's see what else I wrote here. Oh, okay. All right. Now, look, listen to me. A few people in my life, a few friends, have gotten lip filler recently. And so it got in my head. I was like, maybe I need it. And then I saw some photos of me on stage, and I was like, oh, damn, when I smile, my top lip disappears. And I was like, I got to fill it. So I went to a lip filler place. I was about to get it done. And then it was funny. I was in the lobby, and I hear the song playing, uh, We ain't ever getting older. Dun, 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 dun. Which I despise. I hate it. Um... And I was about to get the lip filler, and then the nurse isn't friendly. It's just felt like weird. And you know when you don't, you're not sure you really, really want it, and you get all, I get sweaty, and then I start uh, stuttering. I'm like, uh, what? Um, how was I? Will I have a weird uh, healing process? And I know I'm like, this isn't really coming from me. You know, and um, the nurse was kind of like, which one do you want? Which lip filler brand? I'm like, I don't know the brands. And then that alone, I'm like, if you, she wasn't that friendly. I'm like, I, I'm doing something pretty special if I were to, and I would like a nice, or just someone I could trust, you know. Anyway, I bailed. Because I had that feeling of, well, if I fix this, then what else? There's going to be a never-ending list. And I'm like, but how about, keep, how about I work on the acceptance? Because I know this is a fact. When I feel beautiful inside, it really resonates on the outside. Um, so how about I just keep working on that? I'll try. Um, you know, I've been taping this new stand-up hour and watching clips of me, and it's, 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 it, <laughs> it's tough. Um, it's tough because I... You know, when I was on SNL and I'm in characters, I'm dressed as a man or I'm dressed as an impression, I never saw myself through the lens of, oh, is this pretty? I just saw it through the lens of, it, this is funny. And it made me really happy. But I think when I'm on stage, there's no mask. It, it's just my, me and my soul. Uh, and I... It's a, it's a little trickier because I do go through the lens of how's my posture? How's my... Oh, no, that angle. No. <sighs> but... Isn't it weird when you go on Instagram and you want to... You see everyone post and you're like, I don't need to post. But then there's something inside that's like, I have to show them I exist. And it's like, Ew. Anyway, am I getting emo? Maybe I am. Um, uh oh, is there gonna be a fart? I think so. <laughs> Did you hear it? It went whoop. That was a funny one. Whoop. All right, guys, I better go to sleep. Got a long travel day tomorrow. You guys are wonderful. And, um, you know, enjoy October.
I hope you, I hope you get a little time to enjoy October. Uh, hmm. Yep. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, you might want to watch the Colbert show on Wednesday, October 11th. I don't know if it airs in. Well, keep an eye out. You might see me. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go to bed and might read a little bit of Maria Bamford's book. She's one of my pals. She really was, she's, I mean, she really helped me a lot on the road when I first started going on the road. It's cool. I don't, I don't need a, I don't li- need to listen to Maria's audio book because I just read her book with the impression. And, uh, <clears throat> and like they tell you not to do in every 12-step program, I told everyone about it. I was a huge pain in the uh, so. Oh, this is a pretty drawing. I used it as a bookmark. The girl, there's a little skeleton lady uh, painting. She put a bunch of watercolor paint on her dress. Cute, huh? All right. I'll shut up now. Bye-bye. Laughing with myself. That's the way I want to be. Laughing with myself. That's the brightest side of me.